JD's and Lentilmen. It has been five or six days since pool opening 2020 has started. And my good nuts. Look at what we have. That is pretty good. Now it gets more green down this side. And there's a lot to vacuum. This is all what I like to call red tree shit. There's a lot less here because of that pile there. I have my scoop kind of type deal and I've been playing with that to try to get some out, but it's gotta be vacuumed. So I have the manual vacuum out here and uh, we're gonna have to get into this now. It's about 90,000 degrees today. We're having one day of hot weather, so the AC's on. The pump, now you were hearing in previous parts, and I know it would be very hard to hear um, with the ACs running, but you were hearing a lot of grumbly, groany sounds from the pump after I had fixed the cord on it. And it was just vibration. How and why and what is vibrating, I don't know. But if I sort of pull up on this fitting up to the sky, the noise lessens. And you see there's a little blue jobby, which is a piece of PEX that I hammered flat and stuffed under there as sort of a wedge. And that helps, but being that today it's a lot hotter, the thing doesn't even make noise. Now the handle's leaking. It's been leaking for at least four years. This might be the year to fix that because we got leakage. Now it's probably leaking from the pump still, but that's a lot slower than the handle. The handle is not leaking very quickly, but it is keeping the pad consistently wet. We're going to be doing a manual vacuum, so let's hop right into that. We've got to shut the solar. We don't want anything sucked up in there. And the next thing <clears throat> is we're going to want to take our filter out of circuit because you want to vacuum to waste. So yes, you are sending all of that precious water that it took 74 days to get in the pool right out the drain. And waste is over there. But we're not going to go and do that until we get the vacuum set up. So I have the manual vacuum head on the pole. I, I'm going to show you this. You don't need, I don't need to show you this, but I'm going to show you this because people... See these two little white things here? When you press them, they're spring-loaded, and then it pulls off. To put it on, you stick it in, depress them, and wiggle it around till it goes through the holes in your pole. Your vacuum hose pushes right on. That's it. It's not a big deal. Over here, we have the vacuum plate and the other end of the hose. I have my pool filling still. Today I've put in over 250 gallons. We had a huge rainstorm last night. And uh, this just connects up right here. Just stick it on your vacuum plate. And that'll be ready to plug into the skimmer. Leave the basket in your skimmer. That's really it. Now, the one problem we have is this vacuum hose has air in it. And if you go and plug that in, you're going to start sucking air. So the pool dicks are going to tell you, stick it in the pool all the way underwater. Well, unless you want to go in the dirty pool with it, that's not an option. Another option you do have if you wanted to play the game of doing things the right way, because that's what the pool dicks say, is to go to one of your return jets or you could use the garden hose, I suppose, and hold one end of the vacuum hose on there to get it filled mostly with water. You can do the same with your garden hose, it's just going to take longer. Uh, I have a different method. That's just plug it in. It, it's going to work itself out. So, first thing we need to do is put the vacuum in the pool. Okay. 
down. And you want to put this somewhere where hopefully it won't fall in. That's really all there is to it. On mine, I'm going to move the camera in a second. That seems to do the trick, right where it extends. That seems to usually do the trick for what I need. Now, as I've shown, we haven't changed the multi-port valve to waste yet. We haven't taken the filter out of circuit. We haven't done anything. And we're just going to go and plug this in. On my pool, I have the main drain and the other skimmer. That's going to be taking tons of water. This one is going to be taking tons of air. So let's plug it in. No water in this hose, completely winterized, if you will. Right in, make sure you get a good seal on it. And I like to just hold and feel the hose. Eventually you'll feel some water getting sucked up. There he goes, just got heavy. So now we'll go to the pump. Bubbling and churning, bubbling and churning, bubbling and churning, as you see in the pump right here. Now you can sit like this all day. You're not losing any water really at this point. So we're just waiting for all of that air <coughs> from the vacuum hose to be purged. It might purge itself, it might not. It's up to you. What I'm going to do is shut off the other skimmer, because I'm not going to need that for sure. Oh, actually, that was dumb. I needed this one off. That's better. <laughs> Shut the east skimmer. There's a plane going overhead. West skimmer and main drain are on. Now we just let that sit. Aha! The air is lessening very, very much. Now I'm going to shut the main drain off. You're not going to get great flow, but you'll have some. Do not go in vacuum now because your filter is still in circuit. Take the filter out of circuit. Everything should stay. It is very helpful if you have a second person who can prevent your vacuum from falling in the pool. Because otherwise, you might be going in after it. Go over to waste. That disconnects your filter. If you have a heater, disconnect that. Get everything out of circuit. And we're sending water straight down. And now, I'm gonna head back over and we'll start vacuuming. I'm gonna record it this way. My vacuum plate has popped out, but that's okay. We can turn the pump on and then plug it in. Now this hose is filled with water, so we don't have anything to worry about. So let's go ahead and turn the pump on. All right, our pump is on. And now I'll stick the vacuum plate on. We're vacuuming. tell it ready. So, just like you're going to vacuum the floor, I need hose here, before that's going to work. We'll start with that. And we're just going to go and vacuum like you vacuum the floors in your house. You are going to end up with watermelon stripes. That's just how it goes. Just do the best you can. You have a limited amount of time that you can vacuum, so make the most out of it. If you're leaving stripes, don't worry about it and try to go back and get them. Because if you waste time on that, 
We're going to run out of water. You're going to be vacuuming a second time at least. So this is just the preliminary one. So I'm going to just keep vacuuming. Okay, that's one third done, so we're gonna stop down and check. All right, let's see how filled the basket is. I know it's not too bad, but oh, it's not bad at all. That's not horrible. Not much there. So we'll put her back and go on to the next third. I'll do it just in, you know, kind of three sections like that. That seems to work best. Trying to do half and half, there just isn't enough water where if I take breaks in between, that works better. You'll see the pump's off, so it popped up. That's okay. I'm going to slam it down once I get the pump back on. Let's see what we look like after the second third. The second third? The third second? This leaves. Oh yeah. That's a nice one right there. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, this one is... This one is packed in there with all that. This was the problem I was having when I was trying to get all the water off the cover before uh, taking it off. All this mucky stuff. I don't know if it's broken down leaves or whatever it is, but the pump just couldn't handle it. So this I have to clean out with the hose now. And obviously I'll get all of the leaves out of here and that there's some down there so yep now we're getting into the nitty-gritty but the last third is nowhere near as bad this was like the worst section so we're doing great yeah these things aren't gonna let up today but we're gonna come check the pump basket 
I've already cleaned out that skimmer basket from before. I want to get vacuuming done today because I got an email from the water company. They're going to be flushing the lines out on Monday. Yeah, we could spray that out. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Of course, each time I break this down, the pump loses prime. Like I was saying, the water company is going to be flushing the lines Monday. That can kick up all sorts of iron and crud in the water. So, it's best to use as little as possible. Oh, I didn't want to do that yet. I want to use as most as possible now while I can and refill this for a while so we have a much easier time of it trying to catch prime because it sucked quite a bit of air and of course the pool is filling at the same time because when you vacuum you just want that Alright, we'll call that good. Put our cover back. Two fingers. Good, that's it. Gotta get some water back circulating. That's good. So that's only 50 gallons of water wasted there. It'll only take I have 10 more minutes to fill the pool with that. bad sounds toward the very end I was hearing some very angry pump sounds this basket should empty immediately and uh, yeah 
but that's all right because I'm pretty much done vacuuming for the day. I think I'm going to, because I still have enough water in the pool, I'm just going to go over some of the watermelon stripes and try to get that out. And uh, as far as this basket goes, I'll wash it out later because there's not that much uh, ooky cookie over here. So while it's still on vacuum mode, you know, I might as well just take advantage of that so I don't have to set everything up again. And I got uh, about three to five more minutes of vacuum time before I'm going to be out of water. So let me work on that and I will then show you the finished results of today's efforts. Yeah, the lawn's definitely flooded here. So we got our lawn bubble back, that's good. But uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a heavy vacuum. That was good. I got a lot done. Let me show you. Well, 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 well. That's looking pretty damn spiffy right there. This, uh, I got, I was able to get rid of uh, a lot of the watermelon stripes. The water is cloudy. That is going to be what happens. The main drain is somewhere down in there. It's uh, not easy to see. So the water definitely is murky, but that is all going to filter out now. So we'll come over here, down at the far corner, and was even able to get the shallow area here and some of the steps. Huge, huge difference. Very good. Now there's still some leaves and other stuff that's going to either be in the second vacuuming or when Robot goes in. But we need to reconfigure the pool equipment to go back to normal operation. So let's do that. What you're going to want to do at this point is uh, disconnect, take your vacuum out of the pool. You should have done that if you're done vacuuming. I mean, it just, it only makes sense, but you got to tell people this. And what we're going to do now is leave it on waste for just another moment. I'm going to open up the other skimmer and the main green and let all of that in. Turn it on. And just let it run for a little bit. It doesn't have to be long. Maybe, I don't know, we just want to get like a good 10, 15 gallons, 20 gallons through there. Just to flush out the pipe. There we go. See, everything's nice and clear in the basket now. Side glass is nice and clear. That's good enough. Shut her down. Now we can take out the basket. See how we did here for a second go. Not bad. So I'm going to want to clean that out and the other skimmer basket that I was working with over there. Spray those out good and then we'll turn the pool back on. Okay, so we're back in business, ready to go. Baskets refilled, everything's put back together, skimmers, drains, everything's open. Go back to filtration. There we are. Kick it on, wait for it to kind of dry, and she's taking water. Building up, building up, building up, and we are golden. that purge itself for a minute. And whammo! That's it. I'm going to put the solar back. That's definitely chuchin. I want to... This would have been a great day for it to cook up the pool a bit, but I had the vacuum. Now you got to get it clean first, you know. And 
and uh, pressure is reading about 22, so it's not bad yet. We started at 20. Probably hard to hear, but you can hear the vibration. See how I can stop it? I don't know what's causing it. But if I pull up, it stops. So that little blue piece I put in there does something, but not enough. Anyway, everything is back to normal. And uh, we're good. So we still got a lot of work ahead of us. Probably going to be one more manual vacuum. We're going to have to brush the sides of the pool. That's always a lot of fun. But I have some uh, some ideas for that that uh, maybe I could show you depending on how it goes, how the green it behaves itself and all that. We're going to eventually put Robot in. Don't know when that has to happen yet. We're going to have to backwash in a couple days. So, not sure exactly when that'll be. Next two, three days probably. And by that point it'll be a week, so it'll be time to put in more shock and more uh, chlorine tabs and basically start the weekly process and keep that going. After I put the shock in, the far half of the pool turned blue right away. Well, not right away, but right away considering where this half closest to us stayed more green. And that's because there's only so far it's going to push the water into the pool, of course. So, you know, taking your granular shock in a bucket and spilling it around the pool, it's all going to mix eventually. Okay, it's going to take care of itself. Like the earth heals itself. Okay, it'll do the trick itself. You want to help it along, you can help it along, but it'll take care of itself in time. So meanwhile, there's some flotsam and jetsam that is going to skim off the top. If we're below the skimmer, oh yeah, indeed we are. The skimmer looks good, not uh, much in there to speak of. So that's really it. I just got to wait for a couple days till it's time to backwash and uh, do all that again. So that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.